Okay, let's continue on to Session 3, Firewall Security Zones, Interface Types, and V-Wires. Firewall Security Zones. Okay, everyone, when it comes to a security appliance, and in this case, we're working with Palo Alto Firewalls, the most important aspect of this firewall and any firewall is how can you classify or segment your traffic and provide identity to that traffic. And I think the most important aspect of any firewall is security zones. And we're going to discuss how the Palo Alto Firewalls our configure when it comes to zone we're gonna allocate our interfaces so if we have an interface that connects to our core switch on your data center and that core switch it's your internal network that most definitely will be your inside zone same with the outside if you have your isp or internet service provider circuit that connects to the palo alto to ethernet port 2 then that port 2 will be added onto the outside zone and that's how you tell that anything that wants to reach that interface or anything that comes from that interface will be treated as is coming from the outside. Same with the DMZ. We have servers that are sitting on the DMZ, which is basically a zone that it's kind of on the inside, but it's not necessarily completely on the inside, but it's also on the outside. So it's a zone where we're going to allow people from the outside to access, but we're not going to allow resources access completely the inside of our environment. So if something happens, something gets compromised as far as any servers that you have currently sitting on the DMC zone. By doing this, by segmenting that traffic into a zone, we can then mitigate that type of attack or threat. And same with servers. So we want to make sure that not necessarily we want to have all inside networks talking to our servers. So we can also allocate the server environment onto a particular zone. This is a key element of every firewall. It's to be able to uh, segment traffic and police. So if you want to go from one zone to the other, you got to be allowed based on the security policy. So we're going to put those rules in place and the Palo Alto will take care of the rest. Okay, so let's go ahead and begin with our uh, zoning config. Okay, everyone. So let's go ahead and configure those security zones. Let's click on network. Let's click on zones. Let's go ahead and click add. Okay, so once we're with our zone configuration page, let's take a look at the options. We have the name of the zone. This is, will be your zone name. Let's make the outside zone for our first example. We got our outside zone log setting, meaning that do we want to send any activity from that zone to our syslog server or any server that we're doing a pulling monitoring from on the Palo Alto? We're going to configure that thing here. But in this case, we're not going to do that on this video. OK, type. Very important. So type. We got a couple of types uh, that we can tell the Palo Alto, hey, type of traffic or the type of network traffic actually that falls on that particular zone is either a virtual wire. We're going to discuss virtual wire and what it is in the coming video. Layer 2, meaning that it's basically a zone that allocates a layer 2 traffic or does not have routable traffic. It falls onto a specific VLAN interface. So, for example, if you have a zone that not necessarily I want to be a routed zone, it's just a pass-through zone, we can configure it as a layer 2 here. Or if we want to allocate a specific VLAN to that particular interface, then we definitely can configure this a layer 2 on this particular section. We have layer 3. Layer 3 obviously is the most common one. This is where we allocate layer 3 interfaces onto this particular zone. And finally, we have the tunnel. Tunnel is when you have a SSL tunnel, a IPsec site-to-site -site tunnel, and then you want to apply a zone to it. So you can tell this comes from customer A zone. So for example, if you have you partner with XYZ company, so let's say company A, and you have a tunnel with them, you can make this a zone. And then the type is going to be a tunnel because this is how you get to that zone, uh, to that company via a tunnel. So this, this is how you basically allocate that. In our case, basically doing the outside, we're going to type outside zone, and then we're going to change this to layer 3. Okay, once we're done, we're going to press OK, and now... We should be able to do the same thing for the other ones. Okay, let's do the same thing for the inside and the DMC. So I'm just going to go ahead and configure that and we should be good to go. Both of them are going to be layer three zones and, uh, and we're going to finally allocate the interfaces once we are done with this. 
Okay, and thanks to the magic of editing, we have the two additional zones. We have the DMC zone and the inside zone. Let's now allocate that interface. So we're going to tell the Palo Alto everything that is plugged in onto this particular port, let's treat it as the outside or the inside or the DMC. So let's do the first one. So let's click on the outside zone. Now we're going to allocate an interface for the outside zone. And we're going to say that, you know what, let's use the first port. So, so port 1, interface 1 on the Palo Alto will be connected to our internet route. Let's add the same thing for the inside. Let's go ahead and just add that one because this is just a router. Let's click OK. And now we have the outside zone that comes from this particular port or interface. It will be treated as outside traffic. Let's go ahead and click inside and do the same with the inside. In this case, my inside interface will be Ethernet port 2. And you're going to see this. This is sub interfaces and we're going to discuss sub interfaces on our next video. We're going to discuss all the interface type. So let's select Ethernet port 2 and we're just going to click OK. And now we know that port 2 belongs to the inside. And then finally on the DMC, we're going to say port 3 is the DMZ zone. So if we have servers connected to that switch, they will belong to the DMC. We'll click OK. And now that we have that configured, well, all of them are layer 3, we should be good to go. Now we should be able to apply policies to traffic that is coming or going to those particular interfaces. And we can treat the traffic as if it's coming from the outside. It means that anything that is going out to that interface, it means that it's going to the outside or egressing. So you have two terms. So we have two terms. And by the way, if you're pursuing the PCNSE or Palo Alto Networks a Certified Network Security Engineer, on your exam, there are going to be uh, questions that are going to mention the word ingress, which begins with I, ingress. And let me go ahead and type it in front here so you can understand what we'll be talking about. So let me go ahead and open my notepad and let's discuss uh, those two terms. Ingress, okay? We have ingress and we also have egress. Let's mention the difference between ingress and egress. So your user, it's coming from the inside going to the outside to go to the internet that is an egress from the inside zone so user or let's call it bob he wants to go to the internet so bob is actually going out of the inside that means this is egress he's actually leaving the inside zone right but he wants to go to the outside so now bob is actually ingressing the outside zone. You got that? Okay, so egress. You're actually going inbound to the outside. So you're actually going in the outside zone. So this user is actually entering the outside. He's actually entering the outside zone. Egress. He is exiting the inside zone. He's actually leaving the inside zone. That means that it's egress traffic. Okay, so let's make sure that you understand that. And this is how traffic flow happens on the firewall. Ingress, I am actually entering my zone. Egress, I am leaving my zone. Alrighty? And to uh, do it a little bit more clear, I'm actually entering the outside, leaving the inside. So we know egress, I am leaving my zone. Ingress, I am entering my zone. Alrighty? Okay, so we just finished our first video of section three. In the next video, we're going to be looking at the interface types. We're going to take a look at what's the difference between layer two, a tap interface, a layer three, a tunnel interface, and a loopback interface in our Palo Alto firewall. Thank you for watching.